What's up guys? Welcome to the second video of my series called Unique Way to Make Money Online Using AI that is Artificial uh, Intelligence Generated Images in 2023 and the target here is to make you $500 per day which is pretty damn easy if you just follow the video. So this was the first video on channel and now I'm going to jump to the second video okay so these are my slide and my channel name is my passive income you can subscribe it because i will keep on going uh, with the videos and we are discussing the same strategy so it's not like you know just sharing multiple ways i just want you to focus on one way the target is to make 500 dollars per day which is like super super easy not a big deal and two things to remember number one i'm not a native english speaker and number two i don't speak while making notes so i just speak randomly you know whatever whatever i have in my brain i just say that right so the whole strategy is called the breed business system like how to use the power of ai images to turn in it into the product and make a 500 dollars per day business so this is strategy two. First part of strategy again you can see a link on the top of this video click on that and start from that make sure you don't miss that because that is the part of the strategy all right Otherwise, you will not get this video. So uh, this is the screenshot of the last video. <laughs> That's funny me. And uh, of course, uh, the income scope is unlimited. And in the last video, I have covered multiple parts, right? So which will remain same. We're going to directly jump into the step three. That's what we have to change. It's uh, assuming you have already seen the first video. So now we are going to publish those products that we have created in the first video to amazon.com right our purpose is to scatter these products in as many uh, as many as possible marketplaces all over the globe right because we need organic sales so first of all you need to create an account in amazon.com it's very very easy it costs like 39 bucks a month and you can list unlimited items so guys you know i just wanted to quickly show you one of our amazon account you know so for example this one we have like listed over 9,000 items, but of course, because they were automatically listed by an app, so there are certain problems. So currently we have 4,148 active products. I mean, imagine we play with the number games and all of them are created mostly using the Jeep, uh, uh, the images uh, using the Dell E engine that I have shown you in the first video. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing you have to do is, as I've uh, shared in the last video, <clears throat> you need to go to a Shopify app store and in that search for Amazon. Again, if you're missing anything, if you're not getting anything, then you can always comment and make sure to uh, watch the first video. Otherwise, it will be super confusing. So um, uh, assuming you have a Shopify store now, let's go and go to the app store, Shopify app store and type Amazon. And then the, my favorite one is called the Amazon by Codisto app. This is super cool. They have a free plan available and uh, eventually we never get charged by that. I'll show you how. Okay, so once you click on open app, then you will be redirected back to the store. And this is one of our uh, sample store. I mean, we started it back like three, four months back. Already had 200 plus orders. It's growing slowly. Our focus is to grow store by organic sales you know, from the from, from the Amazon, eBay, and different platforms. So this one is for Amazon. So once you install the app, you will see a dashboard, something like this. The first thing you uh, you really need to do is to go to the settings of Amazon by Codisto. All right. And guys, one more thing. Uh, this app have an amazing customer support. Amazing, amazing customer support. You can always click on this need help button on the bottom right side. And you will always get a live agent on the chat. He will help you to... You know, just to go through any issues you have. So the purpose here is the product that we are creating using the Delhi image engine. Again, let me show you the kind of product that we're creating. Totally using an automated images from Dell E engine. And they are like super, super cool. They look weird, but trust me, they sell damn well. They are selling very well right now. And this year is the year of AI generated products. Okay, so this is uh, something I've shown you in the first video. So now the purpose here is to transfer these product to Amazon. And for that, we have installed an Amazon by Codisto app in a Shopify store. And this, these are the app settings, uh, one-time settings, right? So for example, I can still match uh, uh, around 16,000 product, which I have not done because we do it slowly. You know, uh, nothing to rush. But if you want, you can do it all together. It's up to you and the status of your seller account. Now, uh, once you click on the settings, 
then what you have to do is you need to click on listings uh, let me check and then there is a button called attribute mapping now guys this attribute mapping is a one-time thing <clears throat> let me just show you how it works now in these fields simply update these fields like the one I'm showing you in the video Amazon offer sync choose edit in Amazon channel seller SKU is SKU cheat in edit in again Amazon channel Amazon channel Shopify store price Amazon price is going to be the Shopify store price uh, Amazon inventory Shopify inventory level and I'm gonna scroll down slowly and you can see most of the values will be same uh, this is you know the primary things that you need to update in your app and make sure it matches with the one I'm showing you on the screen all right so once you're done with this we are good to go right you don't need to do you don't need to fill all the fields only the one that I've, I'm showing you on the first screen these are the essential one okay so after that let's go and let me show you how you're gonna list the product let's go to the single edit all right and these are the active product on Amazon already so let's find something which is inactive like this one is inactive so what you can do is you need to uh, go to the product like this <clears throat> this is steps tree and then there are certain error it, it's mostly related to uh, what you call UPC code now guys you need to understand that every of these product need a UPC code it's called a universal product code that Amazon need to list them to the uh, Amazon uh, uh, website amazon.com and if you go through a regular seller then you're gonna get it like super expensive like I have seen some people selling it for like $300 for one UPC code so we are not going to do that okay so this UPC code that you really need we are going to get it from a website that I'm going to share with you it's called uh, UPC uh, I'm going to share the link in the description but it's called UPC and barcodes.com this is one of the trustable seller I've been using it for me and my clients for many many by the way you know we do all of these things for client also so if you want to know that you can just you know ask me in the comment how we do that but if you want to do it you can do it yourself it's not that difficult all right so <clears throat> This is here, you can simply buy the UPC code, they're like damn cheap, 10 UPC for $2. The, the one that we buy, like for, I buy for my clients or something is like 10,000 UPC codes. That's for just $39.95. It's like $40 for 10,000, you know guys, you can list 10,000 SKUs for that. So assuming you are listing a product like this, bedding set, bedding sets have like three or four variation. Like they have di different kind of bedding set, twin bed or you know the master bed and etc. So every variation, every SKU, uh, SKU, uh, SKU needs one dedicated UPC code. So on every bedding listing you will need four UPC code for example. So I would suggest you if you're like really want to go into it then you can start small. Let's say you're gonna you can st start with the maybe 100 UPC code. 100 UPC code will get you like how much uh, uh, around 20 25 bedding set listed on the Amazon which is just eight dollars so that's your expense eight dollars and they're gonna deliver it to you so the UPC code is basically a set of numbers that you need to come back uh, you need to paste here uh, here in the UPC EN field so once you do that then this particular code will permanently be attached with this particular item right so no one else can use that code and that is a unique product code and that code you can use in any platform and it will always display that particular item where it has been connected to okay so you just paste that here and uh, all other fields will be automated it will be you know done by uh, uh, by the app itself if you want you can change the price I strongly recommend that you can you should increase uh, you know uh, include increase the price by a little let's say for example uh, okay, but you need to change these settings into the attribute settings, but I would recommend at least add 20 more dollars because that will be the Amazon fees for selling each item. So this way you don't need to pay it from your sales. Okay, so offer detail is easy. Again, we are doing FBM that is uh, ful fulfilled by a uh, manufacturer. This is the one we are doing and these values are automated. It will be related to the, uh, you know, the things that we have filled in attribute settings. Okay, and then second part is listing details again. The category and everything it will be automatically assigned you don't need to do that in case if there is a problem in this thing you can always choose it or you can again click on the need help but and go to the live chat they will tell you the right category for the product depending on the product rest again it will take everything from your um, you know uh, from your attribute settings 
Once again, what is attribute setting? It's this one, attribute mapping. is something, what we are doing here is we are telling this app to use these attributes for all of the product that we are going to list. This way, you, it, it saves a like, lot of time because we are doing FBM, so we choose FBM, and then, you know, we have constant constant value for dispatch time and everything. 10 days is something I keep. If you're doing print on demand, make sure you have dispatch time to the maximum or at least 10 days, right? So once you're done with this, you're done with this, then you can sim simply go there and you can choose any product and it will be active right away. For example, in this store, you can see many, many products are active, activated. And this is not that old store, but it's doing a very, very good numbers. So our purpose here is to list as many product as possible guys remember this is the purpose this is the purpose we are going to list as many product possible on amazon.com because for the fees of 39 dollars they let you list unlimited product if your account is new then there will be certain weekly uh, limitations and like after a month or so it will be removed so you can list as many as you want so this way keep on you know creating more and more images more and more product as shown in the video one and then use amazon.com through the, uh, again, by using this uh, Amazon by Codistro app in your Shopify store and push all the products to Amazon. Cool. So in video number three, I'm going to show you how you're going to push these products to the other platform like Etsy. And this way we are going to increase the number of sales. So once you do the this one, like the last video was, uh, sorry, the last video was for Etsy. This is for Amazon. Next one, I'm going to do it for eBay. And finally, I'm going to show you my like super, super secret sauce, how to advertise this product using Facebook ad, like a laser target targeted advertisement that will get you the sales. Okay, so again, the purpose here, the purpose of the whole thing, the purpose of the whole video is simple, is to make $500 daily. And we are doing a pretty big number than this. And $500 is like a very, very conservative estimate. Okay, so thank you for watching again. Make sure you subscribe so when I upload the next video, you will get the notification and you can continue with the strategy called how to turn AI images to $500 per day business. Again, thank you for watching it. And if you have anything, you can post in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.